Governor Stitt and Democratic candidate Joy Hoffmeister traded blows on different topics. Two issues that spread nationally were crime rates and the relationships between the tribal nations. News 4's Nick Camper is live in the newsroom to break down what happened. Nick. Yeah, Hoffmeister says that Oklahoma has a higher crime rate than California and New York. The governor laughed in her face and said it wasn't true. When the conversation shifted to the tribal nations, Governor Stitt was asked about possibly meeting with them, and he said, let's do it tomorrow at 10 o'clock. We're now learning that he had a speaking engagement at OU around the same time. We showed up at the Capitol this morning to see who was there. The governor's in his office today, and uh, nobody showed up. But uh, our point is that we're always willing to meet with the tribes. At 10 o'clock Thursday morning, there was no governor and there were no tribal leaders. Instead, it was Brian Bingman walking the halls of the Capitol. We would welcome the opportunity uh, to uh, sit down and discuss, um, you know, ongoing relationships as we move forward. Bingman is the Secretary of State and Native American Affairs. He admitted the tribes were not notified of a meeting before the debate. When pressed on the issue of tribal sovereignty, Governor Kevin Stitt said that he would meet with the tribes, even given a date, saying, Tomorrow at 10 o'clock. They're all on TV watching right now. Let's do it tomorrow at 10 o'clock. I was totally astounded at just the way he approached that. Chief Gary Batten of the Choctaw Nation of Oklahoma says that the offhanded invitation is why the tribes are supporting Joy Hoffmeister for governor. Even the idea that he can command us to be there at 10 o'clock in the morning. I mean, if I truly respect anybody, I'm going to call and say, when would you be available? I'd love to visit with you and see if we can work this out. You cannot be quick with collaboration because it only advances with the speed of trust. Democratic candidate Joy Hoffmeister says relationships are built over time and with respect. She also answered to the governor seemingly mocking her for claiming that Oklahoma had higher crime rates than California and New York. Clearly the governor was uncomfortable with the facts and these are serious issues. The FBI shows that Oklahoma had a higher crime rate than both states in 2020 and a higher crime rate than New York in 2019. Data from 2021 is incomplete. But when the facts were mentioned by Hoffmeister, the governor asked the crowd, Hang on, Oklahomans. Do you believe we have higher crime than New York or California? It appears to be true. You got to know where we are so that we can understand what needs to be overcome. The governor's communication team says that he could not interview because he was working in his office at the time, and his campaign team says that his afternoon was booked up. In a statement about the crime statistics, his campaign says, we know Governor Stitt's pro-safety, smart-on-crime policies are working because Oklahoma has the lowest recidivism rate in the nation, and he has invested in training and recruitment of public safety professionals, increased state law enforcement pay by 30 percent, and made record investments in mental health resources, both for Oklahomans and our law enforcement.